Diane Winslow. We will be performing a dramatic dialogue entitled Mount Everest by McKenna McKee and Shuri Legrand. Phew, he is gone. Okay, good. This bully was chasing me again. He chases all the kids. He owes their lunch money, grabs their backpacks. He is mean. I need to calm down and find a way to get to my next class without him seeing me. Hey, Bella. What's up? I just survived a bully chase. And that's like three times this week. <sighs> Tell me about it. Well, I'm headed to my next class. Guess I will get bullied again. No, we can't let this happen again. You should not have to go through this. I know. I don't want to either. But he is so focused on you, and he leaves me alone. I appreciate your help, Krissa, but I've tried to be nice, but nice doesn't work. It's like adding more bully thoughts into his brain when I'm nice. Well, there has to be a way for you, or even us, to stand up for what's right and teach this bully a thing or two. I would try, but I would just get bullied even more. Do you remember Desi from Homeroom? No, I don't think so. Exactly. She stood up to him, and we never saw her again. There has to be more to the story. I think you can do this. No, not happening. Fine, then I'm going to talk to that bully right now. He messes with my friends. He's messing with me. I'm gonna. No, I don't want you getting hurt. I'm fine. Well, not totally, but I think I might be fine. I'll just ask my mom and dad to homeschool me. Bully problem solved. Leaving is not the answer. You have bullies all the time. This is not the only bully alive. Their breed is growing. If we don't do something, they may take over the world. I agree. What should we do? Bella, have you ever asked Jesus to take care of this bully? No. Does he go to school here? Has he taken care of other bullies? Do you know I can find them? Bella, you have never heard of Jesus for real. J-E-S-U-S. Now that I think about it, I saw someone on Goose Dynasty pray to Jesus. The camera didn't move off of him, so I couldn't see him in the room. I know, I love Goose Dynasty, especially the prayers at the end. Wait a second, we need to stay on topic here. I thought we were. No, we were talking about Goose Dynasty. I was talking about Jesus. Jesus is a friend, someone we can pray to, and he hears us. There's a verse in the Bible that says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. All things? Really? All? Yes, all things, including bullies. That would be awesome if we prayed to Jesus. Do you think he would help me? I know he would, because the Bible also says if you have faith, even if it is small, you can move mountains. Like Mount Everest. I could move Mount Everest. <laughs> well, Mount Everest is huge. But the bully uh, we want moved. Or for him to change it be nice. Awesome sauce! <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you have faith and pray, you can walk up to the bully and not be afraid! Or I can just tell his mom! That too! <laughs> <laughs> but did you understand? I really believe Jesus can help you. I believe it. Thank you, Krista, for talking to me about Jesus, faith, and Mount Everest. I'm going to do it. I'm going to confront this bully and believe that Jesus will help me. I'm going to believe with you. Hey, to help you, why don't we go somewhere this Sunday? Where? Bully free school? Well, sort of. Sunday school. No bullies allowed. Really? I would love to come. Do they give you supplies to move mountains, or do you have to pay for them? <laughs> Just come this Sunday. I think it'll change your life. If that's true, let's invite the bully. It might change his life, too. That's, that's a great, great idea. idea.